Hey, Valerie, what's up? Oh, not much. How are you, Dr. John? I'm having the time of my life. How about you? I'm living the dream. Awesome. Yeah. I'm running a scam yeah. called a podcast and a YouTube show. It's so great. Yeah, I would love to run that type of scam, too. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> yep. So how can I help? I want to know how... I, I don't know what to ask for to regain, to regain... I don't know how to ask my husband for to regain to trust him again what happened what broke that trust oh what hasn't happened he has never cheated on me so let me put that out there but um secretly videotaping us having sex was one of the things without my knowledge yeah that's a thing that is a thing and it was a long time ago a long time ago that like, you know but, of right and that was a long time ago. How'd you find out? Well, he showed me. He showed me. He showed me. And and I was back when we were dating. You know, I was so blown away. I mean, he showed me. And I'm like, w w I actually got up and went and threw up. I was so... And then you married him? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, he said all the right things. He said, I, I don't... Well, A... I said, is this what you need to do? Is this something you need to do? Because I'm not into this, you know? And he was like, nah, I was just, I was just playing. It's cool. I've never done this before. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, what are you going to do? I, I'm, I'll go get help. I'm blah. Okay. Well, you're saying all the right things to me. All right. So I keep going. It. He uh, secretly videotaped you in a super intimate moment that you didn't know about. Okay. What else? Right. And, so we got married, and over the years, he's given me, like, I have the house in my name, even though we're both kind of on the deed, if that, that makes sense. Um, he, had a, he had another home, but during that time, that was his home, and we got this one together. Um, this is both of a second marriage for us. And Does he still um, have another home? No, it's sold now. Okay. Thank God. Um, it was a whole mess, but it ended up being, uh, just never, you know, like I told him when we got this, I said, I can't support this house by myself with how much it costs. No worries. I got it. I got you. Don't worry. Right. Well, then every paycheck I had to ask him, I need to get money from you. And that's only recently changed in the last year and a half. When he was your husband? Yeah. Yeah, I had to ask him for money to help support this house. That's only, like I said, only changed recently where now he just gives me the money, uh, you know, where I could pay bills. I oh, pay, what a sweetheart. I, I, make, I make more money than him. So what? So, Do y'all not combine your incomes together? No. Oh, geez. No. Why? Well... Like I said, he had his bills. I had my bills at the beginning. Yeah, but, and but that means y'all are just running like a, y'all have a lawn business. Yeah. And y'all share a bed. Y'all yeah. aren't married. Well, I've tried. I mean, that when we first got married, I said, here you go. You want to do all the bills? That'd be great. You know, I tried that. And all of a sudden I was getting past due notices and everything. And I said, you know, I'm not very comfortable. I know it can be taxing trying to do two homes. Why don't I just take over this house? I just wanted things in my name to be paid, <laughs> you know. And um, he just kept the other ones then. That's how it split up, you know, at that point. Yeah. And then when he sold it, it just kind of rolled in down that way. So how can I help you now? I'm trying to understand and help know how I can get trust in him again. Like, I mean, he's done so much. I mean, that's just the iceberg, you know, the things I said, it's, it's it, whether it's perception, deception, or an outright lie, that this is where I have problems. And I'm not, I'm not a nagger at all. Like I'll say, Hey, can you fix the faucet? And yeah. And he goes, and then six, seven months later, Hey, did you ever fix that faucet downstairs? Oh no, I was waiting for you to nag me on it. And I'm like, you're an adult. I don't nag. <laughs> you said you're going to fix it. I let it go, you know? 
um, I'm I have a very upset. similar conversation with my 13 year old. Yeah, exactly. I get it. So are you his mom more than his wife? I don't want to be that way. I don't allow, I don't, I just walk away. I don't tolerate that. And like we have family meetings because I have three children here too. Mm -hmm. So we have family meetings. And the recent one is I've done it when I was a single mom. I did family meetings saying, Hey guys, what's working this week? What's going on? You know, um, since my kids were little, it just helped all of us to connect five kids, you know, will he not do them with you? No, he did. He does. And, you know, we said, okay, I'm tired of recently certain things aren't getting done. And I said, well, I'm not going to go to each person to find out who did this. I'm going to just take a picture and send it to the group text. And you all can just take care of it. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to do anything. Just take care of it. We are adults now. Take care of it. Right? So recently I did that. I took a picture and I sent it. And his response to the group was, OMG. It was his thing. And I, all my kids were just like, wow, that was not cool. And he later apologized. I should have disrespected you in front of the kids. I said, actually, it's more of a bad mark on you. Not me. Yeah, here, Real, you know what I mean? Yeah, the, the whole thing just felt, feels syrupy. Just like quagmire syrupy, swampy. Bleh. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, like, I'm going to send a text message with a picture and I'm going to do like a, like a, smart a response to it and then we're all gonna go ooh and oh my gosh and uh, the whole thing just is it it sounds like it it, i mean the whole interactions all this sounds like my middle school son with his middle school friends and so when it comes back to like building trust i think you Mm -hmm. have to start in the mirror with you being very very clear here's what i need and here's what i want in this home because because here's the thing Y'all are collectively deciding what this home is going to feel like. You get to decide that. You get to choose it. And he can decide, I don't really want to be a part of it. I don't want to participate in it. I want the whole thing to burn down. Cool. Jeez. Well, y'all got to deal with that. But the passive, yeah, I'm just waiting for you to complain about it. And I'm just waiting for you to not do anything. I'll just send you a photo of it because I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even care. But you do care. It's just the whole thing. Ugh. So it's about y'all two getting away, not with the kids, y'all two, and say, what kind of freaking marriage do we want to have? An erotic one, a fun one, a hilarious one, one with warmth, one with laughter, one with joy. What do we want? What do we want? We get to pick. We get to decide. And if we want those things, here's what I need. What do you need? Let's put all that crap on the table. All of it. Lights on. What do we need? You don't tell me the truth. You hide money. All of our money is going into a single checking account. We're going to pay bills together. Not my bills and your bills. We're going to pay bills together every Sunday night or every Saturday morning or what, every Wednesday morning. I don't care when it is. We're going to pay bills together so we both know where the money is. We're both going to look at, okay, this much went to retirement. This much is in our savings account. This much is in our emergency fund. This much is in the po- replace the front porch fund or whatever the thing is. But we're going to build this thing together. I'm not going to text you anymore. We're going to meet every week and I'll have a list. Hey, can you fix this? Can you fix this? Because one of the things I need is I need you to take ownership of the brokeny things in the house. I am making the majority of the money. Cool. Here's how, what I need for you when, when you're this, since you're running the home, all, all, we're just going to put all on the table and no more of this. I don't know. I just can't, we're going to boom, here it is. And then he may say, I'm not doing that. And that's the underlying issue in the relationship. And that's what y'all got to work through. Or he may say, thank God you gave me a roadmap to your heart and to this home. I'm all in. But it all starts with everybody being super, super clear. No kids at the table, just him. And if he, while y'all were dating, took a video of y'all being having sex and showed it to you and you threw up and you got sick about it and y'all talked through it. And he's like, I won't do that anymore. And y'all went to met with a counselor about it. And then you got married. That's over. 
You choosing to bring that back up this many years later is you choosing just to throw an old ingredient into the pot and then be upset about the the taste of the stew. Y'all, y'all have y'all went through it. You healed. We're 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 moving on. I can't keep bringing this thing up because you chose to stay in the relationship under these new set of rules. Cool. Here we are. And if you feel like, well, I think he's being sketchy again, bring that up. I think he may be videotaping us again. Bring that up. I think there's videos. I want to see your phone. I want to see your computer, your secret files on your computer. What? Bring that up. But to bring up all the stuff that y'all have worked through together, you chose to get married, you chose to heal from, just to keep bringing it back on the table, it's not helping, it's not helping create a home with peace in it. And I can imagine, I did some stupid, I never did that. I did some stupid stuff when I was dating. I said dumb things when I was 19, 20, 21 years old. God help me. When I was 23, 25, 30. And my wife and I worked through them. We healed from them. In some situations, got the help that we needed. And then we've gone this way, moved forward. And that's just part of, that's just, it's part of the healing process. So I think it just needs a good old fashioned Turn the lights off. Turn the music off. Here's what we need. What's the state of things? Let's choose reality. Let's take an inventory. How are we? And we're not good. And let's start there. 